Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading. Generally my readings are love reading, so that's what we're going to call it for the second week of May, the 7th through the 15th, okay? We're going to get two oracle cards and reveal them at the end, unless one flies out and flips over. If you guys are looking for a quick reading within 24 hours, cheap reading, you know, a quick little question, and you have an iPhone, you can use Instago. If you want to book a private reading, the information is below. I have 24 hour and then five business days. If this doesn't resonate, just take what does. This is for Gemini and love. May 7th through the 15th. Oh, the devil. Oh my goodness, Gemini. Are you dealing with the devil? Are you making deals with the devil? Oh boy. Well, we have addictions. We have manipulation. We have lust. Obsession sexual attraction, desires that need to be met. You know, there may be a choice between two people. You may have a choice between two people. There could be a third party situation. Somebody could be having a little bit too much fun. There's a lot of worry and despair and anxiety, you know, about, you know, should, should I listen to the devil whispering in my ear or should I follow uh, God's plan? <laughs> yeah, okay. So I think that you guys are really torn. I feel like you, you know, there could be some deception here. There could be some lies. There could be some cheating going on. Okay, because of, you know, lust. Lust does some pretty, uh, uncontrollable things, put it that way. Oh, well, there's seduction and lust. So there's an unexpected choice in love, Okay. There is. There's an unexpected choice in love and there's a lot of seduction. There's a lot of attraction. Strong attraction here. You may have to leave one person behind to get to here. That could be the case. You have to make a decision. There could be a new commitment on the horizon. This person is not your usual. Okay, This person that has entered your life, they're not your usual. It's not what you expected. But the attraction and the bond is so magnetic that you just can't turn away from it okay there's a, there's definitely an obsession here with another person but you're probably have to leave something behind something else behind to have this deep connection okay there's love there's a union here you know and i feel like you guys have this fear of change or undecisive because of this fear of the unknown this attraction is so strong that it scares me. You know, and I think you're unhappy. You're unhappy about something with this Knight of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Sun card. There's a feeling of unhappiness here. You could be just thinking negatively. You know, I feel like there you could be 
somebody could be wanting to start a relationship with you, okay? But I feel like you have this fear of change, fear of the unknown, worry, you know, what's up? Is this person really going to make me happy? Are they, are they being honest? Are they being truthful? Are they lying to me? Are they going to end up being a cheater? You know, but you're being called to let your, to open yourself up to this love, okay? Don't, <coughs> don't let fear hold you back. This person could be a dream come true, okay? It feels like there's some, you've received a, um, a, a message of love from someone or you're feeling a new love connection with somebody, but you have a lot of fears of trusting them. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, it, but it could lead to a commitment. So if you would let your negative thoughts go about this new person, it could lead to marriage, it could lead to com commitment, emotional happiness, a beautiful union with a lot of attraction. So I feel like there's an opportunity here, an unexpected choice in love that could lead to commitment. But you do have to let something go first. You're going to have to make yourself fully emotionally available to being committed to whoever this person is that has um, swept you off your feet unexpectedly. You know, you do have a new prospect. You do. You have a new love prospect. But you're going to have to use your sword and cut somebody else out. It's connected to the Three of Cords. Swords. I mean, the Three of Cups with the Ace of Swords. Somebody has to be cut out. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry that that's the case. For your love life to prosper. It's like you have to use your sword. Find the power within you. And speak your truth. Communicate your truth. So that you can have this beautiful union that is meant to be. There's a new prospect here. You're coming out of a difficult time. No longer focusing on the loss. Working on a new beginning. But don't let somebody else hold you back. Okay? Somebody may say that you're wrong or that. You're being too harsh. You know, try to manipulate you. Don't let it happen. Into changing your mind. This is also unfair treatment. The King of Swords is un unfair treatment. You may have been treated unfairly by another person. And now you have to speak up for yourself, Gemini. Do what's right for you. Even if it hurts... And you need to do it very quickly. You need to speak up. Say what you got to say. Honestly, quickly, forthright. Quickly. No fear. Have no fear. You're going to have to defend yourself. And speak your truth. And do it quickly. Quick. I'm telling you what. Fast action is needed. Because somebody's feeling un unstable, you know, unstable and insecure. Fives are instability and insecurity. We got two fives here. There's an oppor a new opportunity to come out of the cold and bring back or bring in a new prospect that could lead to stability and security and love and all that. If you speak up for yourself, you have options. You have to choose between two people or two avenues here. One of them hurt you in some way. They may have caused you, um, made you angry, made you bitter and unable to trust. But it looks like you are being called to have no fear. Move forward towards this commitment, this new commitment, this new love. Move, run towards this new love. commitment open yourself up emotionally this is a, the page of cups is new love 
that's unexpected and welcome along with a lover's card. There's a new love connection here that you need to take action on. You need to you need to definitely communicate, speak up and time is of the essence. You need to step back and really reflect about your future. That's what this is. Taking a time out to step back and focus on your future. What option is best for your future? It's time to go within and really figure out where, where you want to be, who you want to be with. You got to go after what you deserve. Do you even know what you deserve? There, you know, there should be equality within a relationship. You get what you give and you give what you get, right? Somebody in the past wasn't putting in their fair share. And now it's time for you to do the right thing for you. Regain your focus. Whoever you were dealing with before... They were over, they were critical. They liked to fight. They brought a lot of drama into your life. And I think it's time to broaden your horizons and go after what you deserve, Gemini. You have a choice between two options here. One of them is new and it's this person is not your usual type, so it's quite shocking and the attraction is overwhelming. But you're going to have to truly let go of the past. Truly, I mean for real. To move on and have a solid commitment with this new person. You are going to have to completely let go of whoever it was in the past that has made you feel un that like you can't trust. It's over, it's dead, it's gone. You need to move out of that situation very, very quickly. Go after what you deserve. Don't let yourself feel like you're a victim, okay? Don't let yourself get overly emotional, emotional over this. Try to master your emotions. Make sure that you follow your intuition. You could have been dealing with somebody who was uh, blackmailing you emotionally to get you not to move forward. Don't go. Don't fall for that shit. Somebody's trying to blackmail you emotionally from moving forward, and you know that you deserve better. Make sure that you make the right call. This is releasing the past. This is about waking up, accepting the truth. I feel like you have a new, you have a choice between two options. This new unexpected love or somebody that you're that is trying to blackmail you into not moving forward. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And that's why these negative thoughts came up at the beginning. Think positive about this new love that has come into your life. They aren't that last person who was out to harm you and use you. They aren't that person. Cleanse. Your body, mind, and soul are urging you to take time out for some much needed cleansing just as you wash your car, clean the house, or tidy your office, your body also has needs. Your body also needs care and attention. It's time for some spiritual, emotional, and physical cleansing. It's time. Release this person that is holding you back from it could be a soulmate connection. And that's what I have.
talk to you later.